Professor Flowers has recently gained notoriety in the leftist community. Who is she? She is a self-proclaimed leftist whose politics seem to be entirely informed by her belligerent racism and spite towards white people. I'm not exaggerating, she is definitely a racist. I just don't understand how you could ever morally permit any plan of action which involves the deportation of a people based on their ethnic group, you know? I don't know if that necessarily addresses any of that. That ethnic group colonize a group of people. For someone who calls herself a professor, she has too many stupid ideas and she does not understand quite enough. For example, like, like, you don't understand why there are black people who don't want to be around white people. Why people who have to deal with racist shit all the time are like, hey, I don't want to be around the people who keep on making racist shit. What's the issue with that? Well, I think you can say I want an anti-racist space, but what you've just done there is essentialize racism as something only white people can express and something black people don't express. You cannot fix racial prejudice with some more racial prejudice. Reverse racism is still racism and is just as inexcusable. Why can't we just help to address the current systemic issues without saying that like, oh no, you're, this is our land kind of. Well, it's not, it's not your land. Why though? So why, it's like, but like, why can't it? Why because can't... It, it's never stopped being stolen. Land cannot inherently belong to any person or group of people. We do not produce land. And the right to own land is a social construct made up and maintained by human society. I think that we can make a space where black people and other non-white people can talk about race and be heard. Black people and other historically oppressed people don't have some kind of exclusive divine knowledge about discrimination that we cracker leftists must absolutely seek out before even beginning to talk about said discrimination even if POC perspectives can be valuable very often. If you really want to have more people on your side, it's a bad idea to constantly tell people outside of your ethnic group to shut the fuck up. All in all, Professor Flowers is not a leftist. Leftism first and foremost requires the belief in equality and the pursuit of human well-being, which is incompatible with her racism and her desire for retribution against entire ethnic groups. She's also about as much of a scholar as I am. Granted, I was a bit luckier in reaching healthy conclusions. I'm not saying she's a drooling idiot, of course. After all, she managed to capitalize on the racial tensions in the Western world, not unlike the white supremacists that we all love and wish suffering to. I hope she gets to reconsider her viewpoint soon enough. And if not, well, I hope she gets deplatformed before she deals too much damage to the progressive politics. That's all. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you have an issue with me, a white person, saying all of this, you can literally swallow my asshole, you dumb racist fuck. I fucking love evenings, bro.